What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, and I am bringing you Purple Haze from Jimi Hendrix. Uh, many people feel he's the greatest guitar player in the world. Uh, I can't really argue with that. Uh, if you think of someone that you like more, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Also, I appreciate you subscribing to this uh, YouTube channel. And, you know, while we're on the subject of Jimi Hendrix, why don't you let me know other Hendrix songs that you absolutely must know and that you'd like me to, to break down for you. So leave that in the comments and I'll check it out and I really appreciate it. But anyway, let's zoom in. And we'll break down Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix right now. Let's have some fun. All right, so I'm going to show it to you. I've got kind of more just my clean setting on my guitar uh, to get it to be more authentic to the Hendrix. Yeah, some kind of fuzz pedal. Any kind of fuzz o overdrive uh, is going to be the most accurate. So let's start with this thing. This is kind of uh, done with the bass and the guitar, but I'll show it to you with just guitar. We're going to start with uh, the middle finger is going to be on the seventh fret of the A string. Seventh fret. And it's going to alternate between index on the sixth of the E and ring finger on the eighth of the D while that's held there. So you go... And that gives you that, what's called the tritone, which is like the kind of most, uh, you know, darkest sounding two notes together. Just like that. Then we're going to stay in this A rooted minor pentatonic scale. And we're going to slide, um, I mean, it's kind of an indeterminate length of a slide, but let's just call it slide from the 7 to the 9 on the on the D string with our ring finger. Then index to the 7 of the G. Then middle finger on the 8 of the B and we just give it a little nudge, so... So then we're going to hit our index finger to the uh, seventh of the D. So and he's just aggressively giving it vibrato and just all kinds of energy and vibe into all, kind of every note he hits. Um, but here are the notes. Then we go to the fifth of the D. And then open D. So 7 to 9 on the D, 7 on the G, 8 on the B, 7 on the D, then the whole step down to 5th of the D, open, then the open E. Then I'm doing a hammer on from the five to the seven on the A string. Put that all together. And the five open, you can slide into the five. Like I said, lots of vibe in everything he's doing. Ha uh, vi crazy vibrato, sliding, sliding up and down, hammer-ons, pull-offs, you know, just tons of vibe in everything. So So that next phrase, we're sliding from the 5 to the 7 on the A string, then 5 on the D, and then we want to bend the 7 of the D a whole step. You can do it this way or pull it down. However you can do it, I kind of do it both ways. It's just the mood I'm in in the moment, which is kind of fun. So you bend it up a whole step and then release to the 5th of the D. So all together. So 
five, seven on the A. Five, seven, whole step bend. Release to the five. Then we're gonna hit this five of the D again. And we're just hitting five, open A, open E, and then third of the E. And remember, when you have a lot of fuzz, you know, that's just, it's all real raunchy sounding. Right now I'm playing it clean so you can hear the notes. Five of the D, open A, open E, third of E. There's a little open A anticipation. So open A, then a five to seven slide again on the A. And you do that same thing where you're bending the seventh fret of the D, but instead of releasing to the five of the D, we're hammering, we bend it up, and then we release to the five and hammer to the seven. So. Then a five, open D. Then ring to the seven, slide to the nine, and then two times on the seven of the G, and then the nine of the G, which is the root, which is the E note. So from this part, slow. And then you're going to go around the 12th fret and slide it down with lots of fuzz. And then you let the low E ring out and then you play what we like to lovingly call the E Hendrix chord, which is going to be uh, an E7 sharp 9 is what you would call it. So 7th fret, middle finger A, 6th fret D, 7th fret G, pinky on the 8 of the B. Give it a little boom. Da, 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 da. Then we're gonna play a G, and he Hendrix, you know, always liked to have his thumb over the bass. He kind of played. He didn't really play bar chords like that. He played thumb and then hand. I'm just gonna play the bar chord. It's the same thing. He just had a different technique. Uh, so a G bar chord up to an A bar chord. Thank you. 
so, uh, you know, it hits on the E. Is that girl put a spell on me? Nine on the A string. Nine, seven, five. And you can, you know, like, like I said with the vibe, you know, slide up. And then the very first few notes of the riff. And it does it twice. So, you know, seven, nine, seven, eight. Into the chords again. E, seven, sharp, nine. G to the A. E, seven, sharp, nine. G to A. E, Hendrix chord. G to A. Break on E. And so, you know, there's an octave up of this, which would be 11, 9, 7. I like to play them together and mute the D string with my index finger on that second one. It might be two guitars doing it, but you know, you've, you're covering both pieces there. And then this again. And then it goes into one more new section and then the guitar solo, which would have to be, you know, we'll dedicate another video to the guitar solo. So please leave comments below. Um, if you've made it this far in the video, leave comments below that you'd like to see the solo. And if I see a lot of comments for it, I'll know that it's important to do. All right, so uh, check it out from the chords. Now the octaves, this again, and so this lick, we're going to move it up a whole step, so it would be 9 to 11 on the D string, and then 9 on the G, and then my ring finger is hitting the 12th fret of the B, so I'm going, and I'm bending that 12th fret up a whole step. Then I do the exact same thing up a whole step, at least the first two strings. So 12 to 14 on the D with the ring finger. And then 12 on the G. And then I'm, so and then I'm hitting my pinky to the 15th fret of the high E and I'm giving it a raunchy nudge. So. Then he's going into the solo. And the chord progression for the solo, right from there, is, uh, and then for the, you know, the anytime he's soloing, it's the E seven sharp nine. Then an F sharp power chord, which would be two and four. So two on the E string, four on the A. And then a D power chord, which would be five on the A string, seven, on the D. So check it out. Part, up a whole step. Mm -hmm. 
Up another whole step, 12 to 14 on the D. 15 on the high E. Now we're in that E minor pentatonic for a solo, which is over E, F sharp, D, E, F sharp, D. And that gets you through the whole song, except for, you know, really laying out that, you know, really breaking down that solo. So here it is one more time, uh, nice and slow, and then you're on your own. Hendrix for you guys. Uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, if you love Hendrix the way I do, everybody say, oh yeah. No, uh, let me know in the comments uh, another Hendrix song, either your favorite Hendrix song or a Hendrix song that you'd love for me to teach you guys, and uh, I will do it. Also, thanks for the support by subscribing to this new YouTube channel of mine. It feels so great to be back teaching. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you in another video real soon. See you later.